Magic Town, the band picks up when the sun goes down. All the converts gather round. Soon they'll be heading on down. There's beer on the cupboard, tiles on the wall, and funny looking people I don't mind at all. Shadow of a fiddle player playing on the wall He plays so big but he looks so small But I don't mind cause I drift away accident prone, I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, when you hear the story, I've got to be, I'll be sorry I said that. Uh, in 1981, so 35 years ago, ladies and gentlemen, which, and I only look 40, right? 35 years ago, I came here as a brand new graduated doctor, and in those days, the emergency department was run by the most junior of junior doctors. And like Chris Cthulhu. And it's amazing, it's amazing that anyone survived, patient wise. <laughs> it is. And it was run by the juniors, but luckily the, the emergency nurses saved our asses, actually. But not like the nurses these days. <laughs> they are. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. So this is a little. Uh, this is something I wrote around that time, and I think I recorded it first in Sydney. I'll tell you about that later. But I also recorded it later in Tamworth with you. Didn't I? And it kind of makes, it's called I'm in Training, which kind of makes it sound like a really athletic guy. <laughs>
Just in case you're wondering. <laughs>
Well, there's a couple of things about this song. One is, it's about, it's a made-up story of teenagers in a country town who are kind of, you know, a bit restless and stuff's happening. But when I sing it, it reminds me of a few things. And one is, um, it reminds me of Jess. And Jess, um, how many years ago? Oh. Uh, there's patient confidentiality, I wasn't sure where I should say that. So Jess, eight years ago, got cleaned up by a... She was in a car with some other young teenagers in Urella and got cleaned up when they were coming out of an intersection or something. So Jess had a lot of serious injuries and um, a lot of doctors, a lot of teamwork doctors helped put it together. She always reckons I saved her life and I say, yeah. Um, but, but in fact, <laughs> Jess, I have to tell you, it wasn't just me. <laughs> so years and years later, at the supper club, I saw Jess playing. I thought, oh my God, that was, a fa that was a fantastic. Wasn't it years later? When your memory's going, time just seems to... <laughs> Three magical months later. No. Was it? Anyway. Um, so, uh, but I think actually Dr. Christopher Trithui had something to do with it, but I was telling him he didn't. He did, he had quite a bit to do with it. So you, did you meet Chris before? You better say hello before he leaves. He's leaving. Are you still? No, no, I meant subsequently. Subsequently. So hence my little faux pas about Jess's accident prone, I thought, oh, that's a little bit. So this is, and this is another song that I used to sing with Dave Creswell, and Dave used to belt this out. I don't belt it out as well as Dave did. But uh, my girl helpers. What are you, excuse me? What's going on? What are you talking about, Dave? Okay, so it's called The Rage.
quick question. It's not being a little loud out there by chance, is it? Excellent. Now we have some guests. Um, this is a little song I wrote um, called, years ago, called Get the Dose Right. It's kind of a little, it's got a little medical thing. You know, it's alright to drink a little bit, not too much. Um, and it was recorded by some girl doctors, uh, mostly from Gosford, some from... I know the doctors are getting younger and younger and younger. Um, but... The 18 year old who's in Paris or something said, oh, I'll just do it. I'll just do FaceTime and I can sing it through the microphone at the thing. I said, what? That's what young people do. So. Oh, technology. We'll get to that. So this is, uh, so I've got to pretend to be the 18 year old teenage girl. Okay. So, and um, so here are the here are my backup singers. Um, this one is the daughter of Chris Kikui, who's leading. So Megan's leading. <laughs> this one is the daughter of John Kennedy, who left years ago. He keeps coming back. <laughs> Two boys, John Kennedy. The little shrimpy one. <laughs> so I'm this. Imagine I'm the 18 year old, these are my backup singers. This is Daniel, who's a uh, ukulele player extraordinaire, married to Brookie, father of Baby Jules. It's indeed right. Now, are we good? Oh. Ooh. along the word. You know? 
Christopher Tui, are you seeing on this one? Where is he? One of the things about Christopher Tui, as I said, when he came to the hospital, he was hopeless, you know, then he became a really good doctor. But one of his little things was he learnt to write songs during his 12 years in town. How many years? 12. Are you coming out, Christopher, or are you hiding? So, Chris, uh, yeah, songwriting skills. A lot of you didn't know that. Did you want to play guitar on this? Or? No. I can't read that. So, and we would like a little bit of involvement of the audience. Oh, that's good. Are behind us, but I don't know whether you're going to be able to I hope none of my private. Oh! Yeah, that's right, no? oh. Right, so now we close, so a few little explanations for. Uh, okay. So a vent, right, a vent is a ventilator. Which is, a life support issue. A, um, you all know what, uh, so kneel by mouth, you all know what that is. That's when you go to hospital and have something done and they starve you or they feed you on custard. Um, there's a germ, so it's Clostridium difficile is a germ that makes you get runny diarrhea really badly. And CPR, you all know what CPR is? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm explaining to not the medical people, I should, well, some of the medical people might know this, but I was, uh, some of the older ones might. I was explaining for the normal people, Christopher. So we've got the vent, we've got the costumal deficit, we've got the, you all know what a pen is, do you? Yeah, On the bank again. I just can't wait to get on the bank again. I find that breathing is so hard to be my friend. I just can't wait to get on the bank again. On the bank again. Thank you. 
It's all past. Hey, come back up. Now, now, before we have our little wee break, we're going to do so. The E Docs. The E Docs. Oh! So my uh, my musical career was going nowhere until the Edox came on. There's a guy called some of you might know. There's a ABC guy called Ian McNamara, and he he had this little radio show. It was going nowhere, and then the Edox songs came on. And his audience is quadruple. <laughs> He's got us to think. Every year I get a royalty check for this song for $4.60. <laughs> so, so where, where's that Where's that cup? Where's that cup? You got there, it's still waiting. And I don't declare it. I'll get it in big volume. Now, so, this is the last song before the wee break. Okay. Oh. Yeah? So it feels underestimating himself again. Huh? This song uh, went to number one on Mac at what, three years ago? Did it? Yeah. Uh, you remember that? <laughs> so, well done, Phil. So I'm going to be on the bed again. So this is Dr. Nicholas Ray. He's going to be on the bed again. He's been. Uh, Nicholas Ryan, he's the director of the emergency department. He's a very good director. He's been here for years. He came here only a few years after I did. And I consider him and I to be the mummy and daddy of the emergency department. And I'm the daddy. I'm the daddy. I'm the daddy. <laughs> we always, like all marriages, we just have differences that we, you know, you just have to walk away from. Yeah. This is uh, Chris Kiddos, he was our resident registrar for years. He's now a GP in Canada. I don't know what the hell he's even doing up here, actually. Mate, you do it without And that's John Kennedy, who keeps, he left, how many years ago? Six years. Oh. Keeps coming back. Righto. Technology, you've got the best of me. Technology, why don't you let me be? Who is the master and who is the slave? Now just behave yourself. It's a phone, it's a camera, it's an MP3 A video recorder with a tiny screen And a powerful computer that's round about the size of a flea But the ring a ding a ding and is driving me insane All the talking, talking, talking when there's nothing left to say And there's no hiding
songs alphabetically And they're all backed up just in case of an emergency